We're speaking with Reverend Otis Moss, senior pastor at Trinity United Church of Christ on Chicago's South Side. Trinity is a vibrant congregation that inspires adults and youth. We also welcome two of those Trinity youth. Shantara Mathis is a senior at DeSable High School in Chicago, and Whitney Wilkes is a freshman at Richards High School in Oaklawn. Is going to church on Sunday relevant to youth in the 21st century? I think so. I think that the church is an extended family network, a village. Uh, there's no other place like the church where a young person can literally be adopted into a larger family mm -hmm. uh, the way you are at, at a church. And uh, it offers so many ministries, ours specifically does, but any church uh, really offers so many outlets for young people. And I think that they would attest to the fact that they have a lot of aunts and uncles and yes. other mothers and fathers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How does Trinity also connect with the youth today, like scholarships, for example? What sort of things do you offer? Well, one of the programs we have, uh, we, every June we have our scholarship program. We give close to about $100,000 in scholarships uh, to, to young people. We take a group of young people to the Haley Farm, the Children's Defense Fund in, uh, in Tennessee, in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, right outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, we have an incredible youth revival where our young people literally put the entire program together and it's designed around their particular culture. So it's, it's really geared and it evangelizes young people in, uh, in, in that particular sector. And then we have the remix service, which is a really cool thing where quarterly we do a service that is kind of centered around uh, young people in their, in their environment. You look like you like the remix service. Can you tell us about it? <laughs> oh, a lot of youth there. We had dancing, singing, um, prizes. It was very nice. It's very nice. I heard you're a dancer. <laughs> what part of dancing do you use in your faith? I just try to come from all around to be diverse in my dancing and to also just give praise back to God because if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing to this day. Reverend Moss, can you give us a background on the anti violence initiative? Oh, yes. Um, our young people uh, came to me after the Darren Albert situation where he was beaten um, right outside of, of, of his high school and they decided that they wanted to do something around violence but they didn't necessarily want the same old same old where the adults put everything together. They had some ideas and they said well we think we should do X, Y, and Z. I said well we'll, we'll go with it and this lovely young lady right next to me um, is the one that uh, came up to me in church and said this is what we need to do, along with a crew of her friends. And I said, well, we can, we can move forward with this if you all are the, you know, the, the main organizers. What did you move forward with? <laughs> um, we set up a march around the church. Well, not necessarily around the church, but around the neighborhood. And we all, the, the day before that, we all, a lot of youth came to the church and we made poster signs that said, um, stop the violence. Um, anything that had to do with gun related, um, gangs, drugs, um, <clears throat> in order to keep the kids off the street and you know get them in school and stuff. And a lot of the kids that were there, they seemed, they seemed safe and happy to be there. And the, that day we had the police come to give us some key points on what we need to do in order to keep safe. Can initiatives like this really make a difference, Reverend Moss? I, I think so. Um, you know, Whitney's very, um, very humble. Mm -hmm. but one of the other pieces that they also did, which was unique, is they put together something called the Soul Cafe. And the Soul Cafe is on Friday night from about 7 to 9. And it's kind of a safe, sacred space for young people. Um, they also put together letters to write to Governor Quinn, or Quinn in reference to uh, a handgun violence. Um, and just a variety of pieces and also working in terms of putting together what are called peace clubs in their high schools um, where they learn about conflict resolution. So um, she, she's very humble, she's very quiet, but uh, Whitney along with, a, with another young lady, Ariel, and a, a couple of other young people uh, came up with some just really great ideas. Thanks Reverend Moss, Shantara, and Whitney for being with us today. I'm Tamara Love for Different Drummers. Keep the faith.